Hi everyone and welcome back to Japan. Well, I just wanted to have a quick little waffle with you about baby metal, specifically what we're doing regarding baby metal. Because a lot of you know we've been talking for a while about the idea of doing, uh, well first of all it was a update of our previous top 10, we're making it a top 15 because we did that just before Metal Galaxy came out a while ago. Then it was like maybe a top 20 now, I'm thinking maybe a top 25 after doing our band made top 25. I've been thinking about this a lot and it's something I really want to dive into. But first of all, I think it is actually important to have a talk about why this has taken so long and why there are a lot of things that we have to consider before doing this list. And I do think I'm probably I'm going to try and do a top 25, I'll do my best. Um, but the reason why this is difficult is firstly to consider that, I mean, as many of people who are probably following this channel might not even know that we did do a Baby Metal Top 10 previously before the last channel got shut down and we had to restart everything. Now there's a lot of things that crawl in and make this a bit of a difficult situation. The first one is the fact that as well as it being uh, deleted, obviously, when the last channel went down, it wasn't in the files that we backed up. You've got a lot of you guys might remember that we were saying anything that had a copyright claim we didn't know at the time wasn't going into our backup folder. So I can't even repost the original top 10, although I'm sure a lot of you know what my number, number one pick was, at least. <laughs> so I'm really wanting to add you know, Metal Galaxy in there, look at it and really go through all the songs, do a live stream like we did for Bandmade where you guys can help me find every song that I might not have heard. But this comes on to the second problem, which is of course, when we did the Bandmade Top 25, you guys at least know, although a lot of our previous Bandmade reviews were deleted with the previous channel as well, I think most people know that we reviewed every single Bandmade song ever. We did a review of every single song and then repeated that on our live stream. With Baby Metal, I know a lot of the fans who are maybe here now, considering our last reviews were of um, Metal Galaxy, which is obviously quite a while ago now, most people were probably forgotten over the space of over a year that we reviewed every single Baby Metal song as well. Now the problem is without those videos online and without a lot of people knowing it, we perhaps don't have the credibility with the Baby Metal community and fan base that we have with the Bandmade fan base where we've got more recent reviews to show for it. And this is kind of my concern is that when we jump in to do this, um, it is a big concern to me that people realize we're not just some uh, channel trying to cash in and say, hey, let's do a top 25 list because that'll take no effort at all and we can rile up some fans and get some subs and some views. No, this is actually something a lot more uh, in depth. It's us taking something that we did before, a top 10 list, it's us expanding on that, it's us using sort of the more review experience that we've gained in the last couple of years to do something more interesting, it's us getting the fans involved, it's us really going through a band who we've put a lot of effort, heart and love into and who I do still regularly listen to. Um, you know, we listen to so many bands here and listen to so much new music. It's interesting that a lot of people perhaps don't know the music that I regularly repeat listen to and there's a lot of bands in that category as well, but Baby Metal is certainly one of them. Um, intriguingly, obviously before on the previous channel, again, sorry to hark back to this, but we before we got closed down, we had, I think it was uh, about 1,650 subs and a lot of them were Baby Metal subs. Obviously since re returning, we haven't even got up to 600 subs yet. And I get the feeling that a lot of the subs who aren't here anymore probably are those Baby Metal fans who we haven't been able to attract back. A big thing is obviously a lot of people might say, well, just go back and revisit the material. But, um, even as we've sort of gone away from doing, we used to do reactions before, we're now more about doing reviews so I can give more interesting, honest content. The truth is, is that even then, even though I could technically go back to it, I think that there's something a bit disingenuous about, you know, attracting people back to listen to you talk about a song that you've already talked about. They probably remember your review from last time. You know, it's view grabbing. I don't really want to do it. We reposted some of the videos when this channel first came back up. And even then I felt a little bit bad about doing that. I kind of wanted to, people to know where we were, but I felt a bit bad about reposting some of those videos anyway, because I thought it might've been uh, a form of shameless view grabbing in of itself. So I do really want to do this list. I am going to do it. And I'm hoping that we can get some Baby Metal fans back on board who were maybe with us before. Um, I'm hoping that the ones who are still with us now will get into it. And as always, this channel is about conversation. It's about honest musical opinions because everyone's opinions are different as they should be. That's what makes art and music especially interesting. So I want to get people who are not Baby Metal fans in as well. Maybe people who only like one or two songs. I want everyone to be involved in this so it can be really interesting. And obviously after doing Baby Metal, hopefully we'll move on to some other bands. But this is one that it's been kind of overdue. Really want to jump into it. And certainly with the 10th anniversary celebrations, I believe it's the 10th anniversary, all buzzing around. 
it's something that, you know, it feels like it's a good time to jump into. So yes, I'm kind of here announcing I wanted to do it, but I wanted to leave this as a bit of perspective. And if you are a baby metal fan watching this, maybe if you know anyone else who's a fan who you think would want to be involved, yeah, no, it's just a review channel. It's not exactly a big thing, but feel free to tell anyone, anyone who might have been subbed to us before, but maybe didn't find out about us disappearing, didn't resub back because we haven't really had any new baby metal content other than when the uh, BMC video came out and we covered that. You know, it's this is here as like a placeholder and an explanation just for anyone who's new to the channel, who comes along and is wondering, hey, why are these guys who've never really talked about baby metal suddenly doing a top 25 list? It might be top 20. I still I haven't decided on the number, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, and we're, see, it, it is, <laughs> the wall of posters does include baby metal for a reason. <laughs> All right, anyway, there you go. Um, like I said, I just wanted to put this up there because I thought it was an important thing to, um, leave my thoughts on before we went any further not just putting it in a live stream but putting it somewhere pe where people could find it and maybe inform people about what we're doing so anyway thank you so much for tuning in i won't talk you through all the usual like and subscribe stuff just a big thank you nonetheless to our patreon supporters as always because you guys really are the lifeblood of this channel we don't do advertising and not monetized so thank you to you guys and i'm hoping to see all of you very soon here in japan for more of these videos bay metal fans or otherwise but thank you so much for listening to me. And until I see you very soon in Japan, like I say, for another one of these, I'm just going back into my default lines for now. <laughs> ciao, ciao.